Hey child, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm getting ready to try Earth Supply. And what caught my attention was the price. The prices are between $4.99 and $7.99 with only one product. I think it's probably this mask that was $7.99. The rest were lower in price. So they have some oils. I know they got a shampoo. I did not get that. Sorry if that offends you. I just, I don't buy a lot of shampoo. I stick to what works. Um, what I did get was the Strong Strands Protein Mask the leave-in conditioner, and the curl popping activator as the styler. Now, they do have a gel. When I went to Sally to pick this up, I'll be honest with you, the Sally employee was a natural hair black woman. And she told me as she was checking me out, she said, this is actually what I have in my hair right now. And she said, now be honest with you, I'm not a fan. And I was like, what do you mean? She said, I'm not a fan of the line, but I'm definitely telling you just as a sis, don't buy this gel. And I was like, why? She said, my hair did not last very long. And she told me she experienced flaking. Now that was her experience. That's not guaranteed to be everyone's. But if a Sally's hair professional is telling me, don't buy this gel, I'm going to stick to what she recommends. So um, since I just came from the gym, uh, honey, funky, funky. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair, take a bath, and I'll be back to start this hair. Hey, child. showered and I'm ready to go um, as far as applying this mask and I ain't gonna lie I am nervous and this is exactly why I do not watch reviews or read reviews on products before I use them because I feel like it taints your view if you're gonna review something and right now all I can hear is the Sally's employee saying girl I don't like that and so now I'm just like I'm, I'm kind of expecting a bad experience nevertheless i'm gonna be as fair as possible so let's get into the actual brand it's called earth supply it says it's new it's for textured hair care um this particular product is for strong strands because it's a protein treatment no sulfates no silicones no parabens no mineral oil no petroleum paraffin propylene glycol phthalates gluten p a b a or d e a honey i guess it's just amazing for you and it says it's great for natural transitioning relaxed and color treated hair cool we just gonna see if it works well smells pretty good it's not like overly scented and so i do like that oh it feels really hmm. it's thick in my hands and just like going on my hair it feels good hmm. so far so good so far i really don't have anything to say it feels good going on um it's very thick and creamy and i like thick creamy products i'm just really hoping that i love it because i mm, Oh, child, it seems like it's a new line popping up every day. All right, so it is applied. It feels good. It definitely feels buttery. Um, it does say it has the purest butters and oils, and I can feel that. And so far, so good. I won't really know much about it until I allow it to process. I'm actually going to put my cap on. Y'all already know what time it is. I think I got six more left. I'm going to put my cap on. And I'll be back. So I just rinsed my hair out and um, I ain't gonna lie, I have some thoughts. All right, so I've gotten to this point where I have tried to word this correctly three times, so I don't have a choice but to shoot it to you straight. I think it's excellent for a dose of protein as far as a protein-based mask. It's not a protein treatment, it's a protein-based mask. I could feel the protein in it. My hair felt stronger when I rinsed it out, but as far as moisture and slip, it is lacking for my personal taste. Um, is this something that I would reach for? I can't say that it is. It's not a bad mask. And like, I ain't gonna intentionally bash it. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite. And I wouldn't run back to the store to buy it again. But at the same time, what may help is this, because they may be more focused on the protein instead of the moisture with me adding the leave-in, maybe that'll give me the moisture back. All right, <laughs> ain't nothing to it but to do it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply it. I'm gonna put my sealant on and I'm gonna put a shower cap on because I've been having better results with my hair when if I allow the leave-ins and the sealant to really penetrate and marinate in my hair, just get all the goodness on in there before I put on the styler. So I'm gonna apply this and then put on a shower cap. It's, ooh, I ain't never had a leave-in like this. It ain't quite like a whipped creamy texture. It's just, it's just thick. Mm. It looks like, uh, is it Lubiderm? That chalky kind of white lotion. It feel like I just put Lubiderm lotion on my hands. So let me put it on my hair. Mm, this is different. It's very different. 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a shower cap because it don't have no type of slip right now. Like it's just a certain level of moisture and softness that I usually experience with my leave-ins that I don't feel right now. And that don't mean it's a bad leave-in, just mean I need to put the shower cap on and see what it's working with because right now I don't like the way it feels. All right, so I'm getting ready to put on my shower cap and right now I'm just sealing with an oil blend that I mixed together myself. And I'll be honest with you, I don't like this line right now. The way it feels, it does not feel very moisturizing. And I feel like I would have to work extremely hard to get re good results. And I'm not intentionally trying to be negative or nothing like that. I'm not that girl. But I'm gonna put the shower cap on and maybe allowing it to really melt into my hair before I put on a styler. Maybe that'll help. It's just, it wasn't a good balance of protein and moisture in that mask. And so to not get an extra dose of moisture from the leave-in, is leaving me with something to desire with this line. I don't know how else to say it, but I don't like it right now. So let me let this sit for 15 minutes and I'll be back. It's been 15 minutes. Let's take this cap off and see what we're working with. Um, I, all right. It does not feel very moisturized. Putting the cap on did help. And I will say that um, it, it helped, but it does not feel how my hair usually feels when I put on a leave-in. And so let me go ahead and detangle and then I'm gonna come back and put on this styler. All right, so let's move on to the styler. It is the Curl Popping Activator. It's for moisture and repair. Again, none of the stuff that a lot of the curly girls hate, the sulfates and silicone and stuff, they don't have that. It is to amplify your curl pattern and it, it they say it's gonna do a lot of good stuff and that's just that. So they don't give you any special instructions. So I'm just use it as a wash and go. Now I do wanna tell you, um, I did not read the ingredients before I bought it. The third ingredient is glycerin. The first is water, second is shea butter, the third is glycerin. If you are someone that is pretty prone to frizzy hair, you wanna watch out for the glycerin. This may not be for you. But if you reach for the gel, glycerin is the second ingredient. So that's just something to keep in mind. Why is this pump not working? You mean to tell? Okay. It's not working because this product is too thick for a pump. It's stuck in there because it's too thick. It's like, why would you even put this in a pump? Does that make sense? What, seriously. If you have a product that the main ingredient is shea butter, do you think you should put a butter in a pump? That is not smart, girl, I just wasted my money. So, okay, squeezing it works, but I should not have to do that. Girl, I ain't never experienced no mess like this. It feels moisturizing, it does have slip. This is actually the product that I might like, but it's so thick. Maybe it's because the product is defective as far as the bottles go, and when I squeezed it, too much came out because y'all didn't know not to put no shea butter in a pump. All right, so I have to take a break and come back and start filming. The activator is completely applied. Realistically, it's just like a whipped shea butter. And so that is not enough to weigh down my roots. If you're new here, I'm Texlax. The color part of my hair has been Texlax. The black is 100% natural hair. That cream was not enough to weigh down my hair. I wasn't getting any definition or anything. And so I twist the part that is visible just so it can have some type of control. Because if I didn't, it would just be frizzing. The rest is a wash and go. Let me show you what the bag looks like and then we're gonna wrap up this video here is the back okay so here are my thoughts although I appreciate companies coming out with more reasonable prices do not give us some wax stuff in order to save money because I can go to the Dollar Tree and get some products that actually work and that's for real um, and so back to these products, this mask is more protein than it is moisture. I did not get much moisture and slip out of that. And so this is that's why I would not necessarily purchase this again. This leave-in is extremely thick. Um, it's actually quite chunky. It takes a lot to absorb into the hair. It's just too much shea butter in here. And so um, in putting on the shower cap, it did feel better, but overall, I don't really care for this leave-in. The curl activator actually 
added moisture and slip to my hair. I actually like the curl activator. I just do not like the fact that they put shea butter in a pump. So with that being said, that is my end thoughts. I am gonna show you uh, my hair and just say goodbye, but that's pretty much the end of this video. I cannot with confidence recommend this line to you. If you want something that is affordable, I reviewed the Dove $7 line on my channel. Be sure to check that video out. I got good results with that. So if, that, if the whole reason you're looking at this is for affordability, there are affordable things on the market that work well. To the company Earth Supplied, I'm sorry that this is a negative review, but I'm hoping that you see it as constructive criticism versus me bashing. I'm not someone who is intentionally negative for likes and clicks. That's not me. I try to operate in integrity, and that is the reason I have to be honest in my reviews. This, this line is just for me. It's a no. So here is the final results. And I just want to say this. My hands are so oily from touching my hair. My hair did not feel oily um, when I first applied everything. But once I got under the dryer, I don't know what it was about the heat that activated some type of oil. But these products are very, very much so oil-based. And it's a lot of shea butter. And it did not mix well with the heat. And I actually really liked the curl activator before I got under the dryer. But right now, my hair is very flat. I've tried everything to try to lift it. I've tried to pick it without messing up too much definition. And it just will not get any bigger because my hair is saturated in oil. So I admire what Earth Supply is trying to do as far as bringing quality um, at an affordable price. These products need some work. I don't want to bash this company, so I won't. But I would say these products need some work. I cannot recommend them and I will not repurchase them unless they make some type of announcement that everything is reformulated. Earth Supplied is not for me. Maybe you can get a better experience. But as for me and my house, I cannot repurchase Earth Supplied. So uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.